How's it going everyone? Today we are fishing a relatively small lake just north of Newburgh, New York. Um, I was hoping that the ice was going to be completely melted given that we've had temperatures in the mid 60s for the past week. However, there is still a small uh, bit of ice. If I want to make it out towards the main lake, I'm going to have to break through that. I still have a relatively decent amount of open water. Uh, launching was no issue. I'm marking tons of fish. Check that out right there. All those marks down there in around 30 feet of water, there's fish cruising around, so they're active. It's just gonna be a matter of trying to catch them. So uh, welcome back. Let's, let's do this. Let's get rigged up and stay tuned. Marks, big fish. Okay, we're at the bottom. Just jig it. If they don't want the soft plastic, then we'll switch it up to a, a nice uh, shiny spoon. Okay, I've got their attention. They're down there by it. They were hanging out in about 25 feet of water. I'm in 34 feet. So whatever this jigging that I'm doing has certainly got their attention. It's a matter of getting them to bite. My hope is that I'll catch a, a lake trout. I've never caught one of those before and that's what I'm really out here after. Try to dead stick it about two feet off the bottom. Beautiful weather, really beautiful weather, but I think that's it for the ice fishing season. I'd have to really drive close to three hours up north in order to find safe ice. I may do it but it just depends on how bad I want to get back out there on the ice. If fishing here is really good, then more than likely I'm going to stay here. Ooh, got him! So whatever it is down there, we're about to find out. What the heck is this? I snagged. I'm going to assume this is a white perch. I've never caught this before. But uh, I'm going to assume it's a white perch. All right, buddy. Sorry about that. I know that's going to hurt. Oops. My bad, fella. The little guy got too close to the hook. Got snagged. Yeah, I'll look it up later on on the internet to see what all fish they've got inside this lake. Uh, I'm going to assume it was a white perch. Kind of had the same shape as a... Uh, yellow perch and that's the only thing that I can think of that would be in fresh water up here I'm currently in 31 feet of water. Oh, there we go That's small whatever it is. It's probably another white perch is what I'm guessing them to be. Oh It's a crappie These crappie are pretty small though It's nothing in comparison to what I've been catching in Sullivan County and in uh, on West Point I'll take him though. Nice crappie. Catching all these fish on the last week, I called it the Frubil Vibrato. It's actually Sibyl uh, that makes it. So it's probably what that school is that I'm uh, right above crappie and perch. We'll find out here in a second when we catch another. What I was saying was I'm in 31 feet of water and I'm able, what I like right now is that I've got the ice right next to me. Check this out. I've got the ice right there right next to me. So I'm able to keep track of where I am and if I'm pedaling too much and going off my waypoint, it makes the, the job on staying right on my waypoint really easy. There we go, on the drop. The 
it's still a small fish, but it's got a little bit more weight. Another crappie. That's exactly what this school is that I'm on. It's uh, a bunch of crappie and white perch. I'd really like to catch a lake or so. I think I'm gonna have to leave this school alone and venture off to uh, start trolling out or like do some trolling or find uh, bigger marks on the Lowrance and start fishing that. Nevertheless, these guys are still fun to catch. Every fish is fun to catch. Switched it up, I put the Canfish Assassin on. We'll see if we get a, a quicker bite. Let's get the Procure out as well. <sighs> All righty, folks. Let's find a big old school. Send this stinky guy down there and let's pray for a big one. This is a nice one right here. It's uh, what I thought would be a nice one. <laughs> Foul hooked a crappie. Poor guy. Sorry about that. Uh, being that I foul hooked him, it a lot of drag against the uh, the rod. <laughs> Man, that got me super excited. Ugh, you little freaking turd. Get back in there, get bigger. Got him, got him, baby. Finally, after hours of jigging, it's a white perch, and he's foul hooked. I can't even get them to bite. They're coming and taking a look at it, but not biting. They're just getting foul hooked. Tiny little guy. Really, really small. Man, I don't know what it's gonna take to get these guys to bite. That wind is super crazy too. It's really picked up. The ice is starting to get blown off of the main uh, portion of ice that's out there. It's separating because the wind is pushing it and as it's starting to melt, it's starting to separate. Big chunks of ice started to float by. So here pretty soon, it's gonna just completely open up to the rest of the lake. I'll be able to check all that out within a couple more days. Hopefully maybe next week I'll be able to come back out and see how uh, the remainder of that lake looks. This is my last ditch effort, fellas. I'm gonna troll a deep diving husky jerk from Rapala. And after that, I'm gonna head out because I am losing daylight really quick. And it's gonna be, it's gonna be really hard to get the kayak out of here. I've gotta go up like a little three foot ledge. There was a drop off that I had to negotiate in order to get the kayak in here. So I'll have to redo it again just to get it out. Getting it out is gonna be a little bit harder than actually getting it in. All right guys, that is it. I'm about to break through the ice again to get back to the launch. And I'm gonna put the rod away so that I don't get hung up in any of this debris but just uh, this was a very tough day not in a sense that I didn't catch fish because I definitely caught a lot of small fish I want to say seven to ten of them that's boring uh, small little white perch and tiny little crappie they were so thick that I was snagging some of them um, I mean it was a tough day in a sense that there was a lot of big marks down there at about 30 feet of water and I couldn't get them to bite. This is one of the tougher days that I've had in a long time. Uh, I may have to switch up to live bait. What I was saying is that it's uh, if I had live bait, without a doubt, I know I would have caught probably 10 times as much fish that I saw on the Lowrance than uh, jigging with the artificials. Just wasn't in the cards today. Uh, at least I did catch fish. I didn't get skunked, so yeah, very tough day, uh, super hard. I will definitely come back to this lake. I like the layout of it. It's small, it's perfect size for a kayak, and it's deep. 
plus it's got tons of fish. So if I find a spot where I can purchase some live bait, because I'm just curious, I know that there's walleye in here and I believe I read that there are some lake trout. Uh, whether that is the case, I don't know. Uh, I'll soon find out with some live bait. But yeah, I do appreciate all you guys watching the video. If you got this far into the video, thank you. You're a diehard fan. I want to thank you all for watching. I really appreciate the support. Hit that like button if you like this video. If you're not a subscriber, click the subscribe button. And until next time, tight lines.